In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and easy scrolling background for your game, just like you see here. You're going to be able to control the speed of it from the inspector or from code, so you can change the speed at runtime. In this example, I'm going to use a 2D scene for this project, but you could just as easily use this in a 3D game as well. To get started here, let's find a background image. So the one I'm going to use, I just found from opengameart.org. You can pick any image you want. Just get something that's going to be tileable so the one side matches the other. Now I'm just going to go and drag this into our project here. Now to display this in the game, I'm just going to click in the hierarchy here, right click, 3D object, and I'm going to create a quad. I'm going to name this quad background. And now because this is a 2D project, if I go and select the image I downloaded, by default in a 2D project, it's going to make it a sprite. I just need to change that back to default so it's a texture again. If you're in a 3D project, this is going to be done automatically by default. Now if I select background, which is our quad, and I go to the game view, I'm just going to change it from free aspect to 16 by 9. I'm going to turn off the low resolution. And now I'm just going to scale it up to fit the, the screen. So you can scale it to whatever you want. I'm going to go to the end here, which is 18. I'm going to add one extra so it goes a little bit off the screen. And do the same for the Y. So in my case here, we got 10. So I'll set this to 11. So that's just going to cover it so we don't have any little gaps on the edge there at all. Now I'm going to drag this image, which is actually a texture now, onto the background. And it's going to create a material by default here. So it created rock background. You could have made that material manually if you wanted, but this saves a step. Unity does it for us. And if we go to the game tab, you notice it's very dark and we don't see anything here. If we expand on the rock background here, notice it's using a standard shader by default. So let's just change this to the unlit shader. And I'm just going to use texture. Now that we have the image taking up our whole background, the way we're going to start making it scroll is using the offset of the material here. So if you click and drag on the X offset, you see it scrolls, but we have this weird effect here. So by default, this image does not actually scroll like that. If we select on the image, go to wrap mode, you see it's clamp. We have to change this to repeat, hit apply, and now it already corrected that. If we go back to our background and we start scrolling this, now we see it keeps repeating over and over again. So all we have to do is change this value in code and it's going to make our background scroll for us. So I'm going to change this back to zero. So now on the background game object, I'm just going to select this, go to add component. And I'm going to make a new script. I'll call this background scroller. Let's open that script up. And now inside the script, the first thing I need to do is get a reference to this material. So the way to do that is we actually have to go through the mesh renderer. So if we go back in here, I'm going to make a private variable of type mesh renderer. And I'm going to call it background mesh renderer. So we know exactly what it is. And in start, I'm just going to get a reference to it. So I'm going to do background mesh render equals get component mesh render. So now we have a stored reference to our background mesh renderer. And we just need to get the material. If we go back to our game and look here, so offset here is stored in a vector 2. It's got an X and a Y. I'm going to make a variable to store a new one. So I'm going to call this private vector two. And I'm just going to call this texture offset. And we don't even have to add this, but by default, I'm going to put equals vector two dot zero. So then it's just zero on the X, zero on the Y. Now I also want to make a speed variable. So I'm going to make a private float. I'll just call this speed. And I'm going to set this to one by default. So this is actually all of the prep work we need. We now have our mesh renderer component. So all we have to do is change the value in update. So what I'm going to do is on this texture offset, we want to increase this every frame. 
So I'm just going to do texture offset dot x plus equal. I'm going to do speed times time dot delta time. All we're doing here is we're going to change the x on there by the speed variable times how much time is passing between each frame. And then last, all we have to do is let's get our background mesh render and we can do dot material. This is going to access our material and then we can do main texture offset. Now all we have to do is make this equal our new texture offset. So this main texture offset part of the material, that is this offset right here. So this is considered the main material of the mesh renderer. And then this is the offset. So what our code is doing is it's changing this value here every single frame. So if we run this game right now, it should be working. Okay, so it's scrolling, but it's pretty fast. So let's make a little bit of a change here. This private float speed, I'm just going to add serialized field. And there's no need to make it public. We don't need to access from anywhere else, at least not yet. So I'm just going to use serialized field. Now we can change it in the Unity inspector. So you see the value here. So let's set this to be 0.5 instead. Let's run the game. And now its speed is half of what it used to be. And we can change this at runtime now to find a good speed we like. So if we have something like this, and you can notice we can actually put negative, and this will start scrolling backwards, and we can change it at runtime. So you can start changing this in your game. So an example of that is say you have a space shooter where you're scrolling sideways and the background's going nice and slow. It's some kind of star background but then you get a warp speed power up. You'd probably want to change the speed of this background to make your player ship look like it's moving much faster. So you could do this right in code. You could just change it and all of a sudden now you're moving faster and then back to normal. Okay, so I hope that gives you some ideas of how you can use this in your game. This is a very simple approach to it. You can add a lot more to it, but this should at least get you started with a scrolling background. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you liked the video and I will see you in the next one.